Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 10 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. And last time I said we were going to do the Smoky Race, and we are, but right now we're parked inside of a tree in an area that I've never really stopped to appreciate, this little wooded tunnel here. And we're going to drive into the green slime and down into the minigame, because we have to do that first. And I think this is my second favorite minigame, the little Smoky Castle. Alright, the first player to get 10 bananas into the treasure chest will win! This is actually really easy. If you use a strategy that I developed. I developed it like the first time I ever played this as a kid, as a matter of fact. What you gotta do is you get this banana, and you drive down here, get this banana, and just turn around. Because you can only hold two bananas at a time. Which is, like, you just have to learn that, and then... Because you can't get all 10 bananas and then bring them to be your thing at once. So just get those two bananas that are really close. And you're fine. Now I don't think other people can actually steal you, steal your bananas. So that should be should be pretty safe from that. Yeah, this one is a really fun. It's a really nice concept, and I just I don't know. I wish they had elaborated more on it. Just like made it more made this castle more labyrinthine or something. That would have been pretty nice, but no. All right, up the little blue gradient thing. Oh yeah, I love how they like shaded like each corner of the castle to, like fit the character. All right. Oh, I only have one banana. Where my other bananas come go, man? There's there's one, dude. Pick the banana. Seriously now. Just hit Diddy just for fun. Just free ox. Yeah, see, look how much we're winning by. This is actually like no. I don't think I've ever lost this mini game. I've never even come like second or third or whatever. Just a pure bona fide winner. I'm a prince. I'm a prince. That should do her. And we win. Jeez, the one the who the person that was in second was Crunch of all people, and he only had four bananas anyways. So whatever. All right, so that's the last mini game of Diddy Kong Racing beat, and I know it's sad. Yeah, this LP is coming to an end like sooner than I anticipated. But trust me, trust me. When I go to race Wizpig, and you will end up racing Wizpig if in, in case I haven't spoiled that already. All right, first I'm just gonna let this play out. Fantastic! The amulet is complete. Use the center of the TT door. Well done. Oh yeah, you. We will end up racing Wizpig eventually. Wizpig eventually. And <laughs> that's gonna take a long time. I can, I can 100% guarantee a fail montage with that. Anyways, yeah, I talked about the TT door there when I finished that amulet. And I don't know. When I was a kid, I didn't like realize that the TT door, like you couldn't access it yet. So I was just like scouring the whole island, and I'm just like, where is that fucking TT door? Except I didn't say fucking because I was a little kid. And my parents wouldn't let me. All right, Smokey. Oh my god. Is it just me or does Smokey sound like a congested Russian? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, watch how much this guy cheats by. Just look at this. Just watch. Look! He's not even done saying get ready and Smokey's off the starting line laughing like a jackass. He's laughing like the Joker or something. Uh, well, not really. He's laughing like the Joker if the Joker was on, on a lot of Ritalin. Pretty much. Alright, ow. Yeah, these fires can get pretty annoying too. They're not as annoying as the as Bubbly's bubbles for me, uh, which didn't actually irk me too much in the f in the race I against, had against Bubbly the last video. But still, they are pretty annoying. I don't know. Smokey just sounds like he's just so baked or something. Like he's just like he has, his voice has no passion. Yet it's perfect for him. It's like the perfect lazy voice for the dragon here. And I love how he's just flapping his wings all slow, and he's still going, like, super fast. It's just, like, perfect. He's just the perfect smug boss. He's like, hey, I'm better than you, even though I'm going slow for a dragon. <laughs> oh, yeah. And again, this first race against him isn't too bad, as it... First race against any boss is never really too bad. Except Wizpig, where it is the bane of my existence. But it's still rather challenging, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, especially if you're hitting the trees and the walls, oh my! 
trees, walls, and dragons. Oh my! Alright, and t t you're hitting the start line post thing. Alright. I think I can still win this. He's not too far ahead of me. He's like a few... He's like 50 meters ahead of me or something. Can I hit him with this? That would be awesome. Oh, no. Little bit high on that one. Did we get him? Not yet, sir! And an that's another noise another noise that irks me. Because from what... It's just Dude, can I talk at all today? I haven't been able to talk for these past two videos now. For two videos now, I haven't been able to talk. Oh, well, I... Dude, dude, I'm on the brink! Yes! Okay! <laughs> I hit Smokey and he nudged me into first at the last nanosecond there. Yeah, but that noise that he makes when he spits out fire, that's another one of those noises that irks me. Because it brings up bad childhood memories. Man, <laughs> he doesn't say and win. He doesn't say and win with any passion whatsoever. He's just gonna collect all the silver coins from around my world and win. And he says win. He just ends it so abruptly, just like and win, and win. <laughs> Anyways, so let's just get started on these silver coin challenges here. I'm up to 22 minutes in this recording. I've been recording like two videos every session a lot lately. No more, no less. Just two. I don't know. Alright, so I'd say that all these silver coin challenges in this world are rather challenging. Mainly because of the speed boosts or like... Because like the characters in silver coin challenges, your rivals, they do go a bit faster. I don't know if I ever mentioned that really. And since you have to like veer off your course, off your normal course in order to get most of these silver coins, it can be rather tricky. For instance, there's one behind this waterfall. Oh, and you have to do some nifty maneuvering to get that one. There's one up here, too. I always like that one. Probably just because it's in this canyon area. And you know how I feel about canyons. Oh, yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Round the corner. Round the corner. Dude. <sighs> Seriously, Crunch. Yeah, I hit you. I ain't no match for a crocodile, apparently. Alright, did I miss one in this area? I have a feeling I did. I think it's in this tunnel, actually. Yeah, this one and the one behind the waterfall were the two that irked me the most in this whole level, and I'm using that word irked way too much. But, yeah, they just annoyed me so much because you have to go so far out of your way and turn so steeply in order to get them. I'm missing two silver coins where I'll, I know there's one upcoming here, but I'm not sure where the last one is. Is it, is it just like on the other side of this valley? Pretty. Oh, no, it's right at the beginning. I remember now. Because I remember I got hit by Crunch and then I like wanted to get my revenge on him. So I followed him around the other side when the other silver coin is actually right through here. Okay. That's how that worked. Alright, and again, I'm not going to get to show the triple magnet. Running out of time to show that here. I don't think I'm gonna win this, honestly. To be honest with you, I don't think it's possible. But never give up. Trust your instincts. I tell you, now that I've done that Star Fox 64 blind LP, I'm just gonna make, be making Star Fox references out the ass, just all day, every day. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, I even started making them in my life like lately. Like my dad took me out for a driving lesson the other day, and he's like, um, <laughs> I don't know why, but like, I was like going around a corner, I was like going through a traffic light, and I was turning left, and he's like, okay, so how should you do this? And I'm like, do a barrel roll, and he's like, what? And I'm just like, uh, <laughs> just, it was the stupidest thing ever because it made absolutely no sense in the context of anything, like that. <laughs> If that doesn't make you face palm, I don't know what will. Alright, let's try this again though. Alright, I gotta move my microphone. Because it was getting way too up in my face. Because I had to move my hand to move my microphone, I missed my speed boost. Wham. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get triple rainbow this time. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Triple rainbow balloon. Here I come. I'm, in, I'm sitting in fourth already. And now I'm going to be in 5th and 6th. Dude. 
Alright, well, I'm sitting, like, right next to Diddy and Conquer, which is what I'm normally doing. But normally, they're in, like, first and second and third, and we're, like, the top trio. Yeah. People have insinuated, and I've insinuated myself, that, um, Conquer is kind of the embodiment of Nintendo Capri Sun in this Let's Play. I don't know. It's just, like, it seems like that I'm always just, like, sometimes, like, Conquer is always the one beating me in races or in minigames or whatever. And it's just like, it's so ironic. I think I'm gonna get triple balloons here, guys. I actually am. Here we go. You're gonna see what it looks like. BAM! They flip the magnet and everything. They just invert it. And that awesome shade of green is like the same shade as Tip Top's head. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Alright, and it's actually fairly powerful if you can execute it correctly. It can pull you quite a ways, if I do say so myself. I just turn into a robot there for a second? Maybe. Alright, all right, here's the last coin. Or I have one whole lap of catch-up to do. Of catch-up. No, ca no mustard, no relish for me, please. I hate mustard and relish so much. Only ketchup on my hot dogs and burgers and corn dogs and everything. Actually, sometimes I have powdered sugar on my corn dogs. I know that's really gross, but... <laughs> it's just the way I am. I was born this way, you know? My insanity is not acquired. I was born with it. Alright, I'm probably going to lose this again, aren't I? And I'm getting up to 30 minutes, too, so I'm going to probably end this. And then next time, we're going to have to do uh, Greenwood Village and this one. Notice how I said Greenwood Village before I said this one that I'm doing right now. Because I have a feeling that Greenwood Village is going to be the highlight of that video. Because <sighs> I'm going to totally blow chunks at that, at that level. Right, I heard the whoosh sound, so I know that I've already lost. But I'm going to finish it just for a time being. You know, no, I'm not going to finish it. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> I'm going to somersault across the finish line. Oh, well. Alright, so that's that. Oh, my God. Man, look how big Timber's eyes are on this on his freaking icon on his mug shot there. <sighs> Why am I talking about... Okay, just shut up. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. And good night. Holy crap, that takes you out to the title screen? <laughs> I don't know why I thought it wouldn't. It said quit the game, but... <laughs> I don't know, maybe it should have shot off my N64 for me. It would have saved me the effort I need to reach all the way down there to shut it off. <sighs>